we got ourselves a very interesting video. Many people seem to throw around the term weeb otaku and are even very confident or even proud to be an otaku. But I don't think you guys actually know what that term truly means. Mr. MB Perry here has a video called What's the Difference Between an Otaku and a Weeb? There's another video I wanted to check out too, which is called What is Otaku? Goomba's Real Talk. These are videos from like four years ago, nine years ago, but hey, give it to me. Oh, yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is MB Perry, and today we're going to be looking at the difference between an otaku and a weeb. So my understanding, and I haven't done too much research, but a weeb is basically a shortened form of a Western person that thinks Eastern culture is superior to everything, right? You have a dude that's living not in Japan, that's most likely from, you know, North America, that enjoys anime, they love anime girls, they love jacking off to anime girls to the point that they think that Japanese society is superior than Western society based off of that, and that is what a weeb is. And otaku is someone in japan that is a bit of an outcast from society because they do not pursue traditional um i don't know career jobs as a salary man or marriages instead all they do is just fucking watch anime and play video games and basically just turn into that if you've been in the anime community for a while i'm sure you've had people call you a weeb but at the same time, you've also seen people saying things like, no, I'm an otaku, not a weeb. <laughs> totally different things. Now, I would like to clear this up. Let's define yep. these terms and let's compare them. All there right. are three main terms, otaku, weeboo, and Weeb. weeb. And whoa, 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 whoa. I thought the weeb is a shortened form of weeaboo. Is, are they different? And a lot of people mix these up. What's the difference between them all? I'm getting to that. First of all, otaku is a real Japanese word and has yep. a real definition, while weeb and weeboo are not real words. I mean, people use those words all the time, but they're not in the dictionary. They're not official. The official definition of otaku in Japanese is yeah. a young person who is obsessed with computers or particular aspects of popular culture to the detriment of their social skills. Now... I think that the definition here is quite generic enough to kind of like uh, encompass everything. Like, what, obsessed with computers? A lot of people are obsessed with computers. But be just because there's people obsessed with computers doesn't mean they enjoy anime. But see over here, right? Particular aspects of popular culture, right? Popular culture is a very umbrella term that can encapsulate, you know, anime, manga, light, anything. Just, just the anime shit we're talking about. To the detriment of their social skills. So people that are consumed by anime and have become socially inept are not just productive members of society, right? Every other otaku can run on about their hobby endlessly. So basically just a huge anime enjoyer to the detriment of their personal growth. Basically, someone who likes video games and anime and doesn't know how to interact with people. Oh, so kind of like the term is nerd or geek in English. Yeah, but maybe yeah. even worse than that. Okay, the term... I think there's an actual huge negative connotation with the term otaku, though, in Japan. Because a lot of people just, like, use this term in North America and, like, different uh, non-Japanese places, thinking, like, it's, like, a cool term that they can, like, embrace and create their own identity of anime enjoyers. But I truly think when, like, I don't know. I'm not Japanese, but like I've heard that of other Japanese like um, things that you're an otaku. That's like a pretty negative thing. Like you're just a degenerate, just bottom barrel fucking neat. You don't do shit. You're just pathetic. Otaku has been defined, but then there's weeb and weeboo. Weeb sounds like a short version of weeboo, but yeah. let me tell you, they aren't it's quite different? the same thing. What? Weeboo means someone who like. This is crazy. This is blowing my mind right now. <laughs> I think this is Ken-sama. If you know of the meme, popular anime meme Ken-sama, basically just a s <laughs> fat neckbeard <laughs> North American going to Japan thinking that they're going to find like a Japanese wife and they're going to be a samurai. Likes everything from Japan to the point that they want to be Japanese, yeah. speak Japanese, yeah. and eat Japanese. Right? Again, thinking that the Eastern culture in Japan is superior to the point they forgive, forget all of their Western you know, culture and think that the Eastern is superior. That's a, that's a weeboo, right? But a weeb I thought was a shorthand form of weebu. You'll be in a conversation with them and out of nowhere they'll start saying things like konnichiwa or sugoi. <laughs> as if that's what every normal person would do. They're the type of person in the anime community that most- You're telling me you don't say nani outside when something happens? You're telling me you don't say ohio? Well, what? People would consider to be cringe. And I kind of understand why. It is cringe. I mean, who am I to say anything about cringe? I'm wearing a pink wig right now. 
But anyways, that's besides the point. Here is when things start to get complicated. Yeah. The term weeb is a whole different thing from the term weeaboo. This is an earth shattering moment for me. I straight up thought it was just a short informed of it. Weeb has been used for the last handful of years very casually to the point where if you just mention anime around your friends, you're they a weeb. might call you a weeb. Yeah. For example, if you have an anime profile pic, you're, you're a weeb. weeb. If you listen to J-pop, you're a weeb. I didn't think that J-pop count. I thought it was specific to anime, right? Not that you're supposed to, like, if you enjoy Japanese idol culture, I wouldn't consider you a weeb. I thought it was mostly about anime specifically, but again, the term weebu was about Japanese culture, and these things are part of that culture. If you like boba tea, you're a weeb. Now, everything I just said is- Boba is not specific to Japan, right? Tapioca pearls, like, this shit has its own lore. Now, everything I just said isn't necessarily true, but that's the kind of accusation that happens a lot. We anime fans randomly get labeled as weebs, and not in a way that feels good. <laughs> Why can't we just be treated like normal people who happen to like anime? Because you aren't normal people, you're weebs. You're a weeb. Well, here is the cr Well, when I use the word weeb, it's just because I've used it so much to the point where I've become so desensitized by like the negative connotations associated with this. So the weeb is just like an endearing category of group of people that, you know, just like to enjoy anime, right? I just call you weebs, you consider me a weeb for sure, but there is actual meaning behind it. Current definition of weeb. A weeb is someone who likes anime, period. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. There's no, there's no other. Okay, here we go. Weeaboo. So basically, this is it. A weeb is a weeboo. But a weeb. Okay. Every weeboo is a weeb. But not every weeb is a weeboo. Maybe that comparison is incorrect. Weeboo is like a parent group. It's a super class. It contains people that enjoy anime because they enjoy Japanese culture. That means Japanese cuisine, Japanese history, Japanese everything. A weeb is specifically to anime. Yes. So therefore, if you only care about anime, manga, and novels, and you don't care about their history and music, you are a weeb, not a weeboo. So in that sense, again, I think that every weeboo enjoys anime, right? So again, every weeboo is a weeb. But every weeb is not a weebu. That's it. There's no, there's no other details to it. That's all there is. But hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I think that people tend to get offended for being called a weeb. But all it means- I mean, there's still half a video left. What's next? That you like anime. And if you like anime, then what's the problem with being a weeb? A lot of anime fans have this thing where if someone calls them a weeb, they respond with, No, I'm actually an otaku. You don't want to do that. Because, yeah. you know, only a weeb would go out of their way to clarify that they're not a weeb. Like, saying that you're an otaku, basically, like, if you're a weeb, you just enjoy anime. But if you say you're an otaku, you're basically saying, I don't work a job, I'm an unemployed piece of shit leeching off of my parents' pension, all I do is jack off to lollicon shit at home, I do nothing with my life, and that's it, and I'm proud of it. That's what an otaku is. Being consumed by popular media, which is an umbrella term for all these degenerate anime shit, to the point of your social skills deteriorating. You are just useless. All you do is consume anime junk and you do nothing with your life and you're a detriment to society. That is an otaku. And a lot of people use that term as if they're proud of it. Maybe I'm exaggerating here, but that's what the term otaku is to the eyes of the Japanese people in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, but based on the definition and what I've heard from other Japanese people, otaku is a pretty bad term. You don't want to be an otaku, bro. You want to be a weeb? A weeb is just a, a... I don't think the weeb... And otaku exists in Japan. But the term weeb and weeb does not exist in Japan. Right? Otaku... Maybe it's... Is... Think, let's think about this. Is every otaku a neat? What is a neat? We need to do separate videos for these. Because <laughs> neat is basically neither in education nor training or unemployed, right? You're basically not an education. You're not employed. You're not doing anything with your life. That's basically neat, right? Hikikikomori is also basically a neat, right? They're just basically shut-ins. But uh, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of terminologies that I think a lot of people are using loosely that we may not completely understand. But the point of this video is otaku versus weeb, okay? We can talk about... <laughs> Neat, hikikikomori, like all the other shit later on. While using a Japanese term. In a way, it's like if someone calls you a nerd and you respond with, No, I'm more of a geek. What is the difference between a nerd and a geek? I don't even know. 
Saying that doesn't help you. I've also found that embracing the weeb is the best way to enjoy both anime and be cool because when you're confident enough, even the cringiest things can seem cool enough. Absolutely. This is the most important lesson that I've probably learned in life. One of the most important lessons is that cringe is a social construct. If you embrace the cringe so much that you wear like an armor proudly, it no longer seems cringe, but it seems kind of endearing. At the end of the day, cringe is simply a perception people have based on how you portray yourself. And yes, you can definitely be a cringy weeb. But if you just say, you know what? I enjoy anime. So what? What are you going to do about it? They'd be like, you know what? All right. You do you. Seem cool enough. But if you try to hide it or act like something's wrong with it, that's when it all goes down the drain. Of course, there are different levels of weeb. But in the end, they are still both weebs. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if this quiz will tell me if I'm a weeb or not. Mm-hmm. Well, I do I love like anime. anime. I'm a weeb. Woo, we're a weeb. But yeah, to wrap things up, Otaku is someone who doesn't interact with others very well and really yep. likes anime and manga. Weeaboo is... To the detriment of their own personal growth and adaptation into society, right? I think that's a very focal point. It's not just about enjoys, you know, anime and anime culture and video games. Someone who's obsessed with anime and manga and Japanese culture to yep. the point where they're actually unhealthy. Like this. And then weebs are just anime. Something wrong here. Or anime Weeb and manga stuff like that. is just someone who likes anime and is proud about it. Like, they're not afraid to... They're not afraid to show yeah. that they like anime. It's okay to be a weeb. Maybe not a weeaboo, but being a weeb is okay. Being a weeaboo... I don't know, there's something so cringe about, like, you think... You're not, you're not even a Japanese citizen, yet you act as if you're Japanese, speaking in broken Japanese. You're just role-playing, right? I think that's what people truly feel about weeboos. Maybe you do truly appreciate it, but most people, I think, are just LARPing. They're just LARPing as honorary Japanese citizens, thinking they were born on the wrong side of the fucking country, and they're thinking like, oh, Japanese culture is so much better. Not to say that Japanese culture is bad, but I'm saying it's kind of cringe. It's super cringe when you fucking LARP as a fucking Japanese person, even though you're not Japanese, and even have misconceptions about what Japanese culture is by going to Japan with a fucking body pillow, trying to find your waifu as a fucking 34-year-old balding male named Ken-sama. <laughs> totally didn't make this video to justify myself being a weeb. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Yeah. How do you know that that's what the real definitions are? Sure. <laughs> that's a very clear <laughs> That's very This could be all cap. Right? Just watching a random fucking video right now on YouTube. Otaku is a real word, but how do I know that weeboo and weeb really mean that? This is where you're gonna have to trust me, okay? Alright, trust me. Source? Don't worry about it. Me. Source is me. I've been a weeb for a long time. I've seen it all. I've done it all. I've met the most cringe- Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, right? This is the Ken-sama definition I gave of Japanese people being horrified at a dude that is not from Japan, embracing their culture in a degenerate way that may not accurately be Japanese culture, but they think that it is better than their own society. I, <laughs> I think this is a definitely... This is a, this is a setup picture, though. I, I don't think, like, this is, like, spontaneous. Like, if you look at this, everything of this looks very, like, faked, right? Obviously, he knows what he's doing. Look at the facial expression he's making, the wig, the Madoka fucking body pillow. I, I'm pretty sure this is set up, but you know what I mean. Cringeworthy weeaboos and the most normie of normies. And from my experience, that's what otaku, weeaboo, and weeb mean. And the people who say you're a weeb as an insult are just mm. annoying people. So they're they were just going to be mean anyways. You don't have to listen to them. And I mean, what kind of insult is you're a weeb? It just means you enjoy anime. But if I say something like, why the fuck would I expect you monkeys to have any understanding of social etiquettes and soft skills and to be able to communicate in a proper way? You're all just disgusting weebs. Now that is more for otaku, right? Because a weeb it doesn't mean that they're maladjusted to society and doesn't have those skills. But an otaku would. Hmm. Anyways, that's the big question of the day. Are you a weeb? Let yes. me know in the comments below. I am absolutely a weeb, and I am proud of it. Of course they're weebs. Why else would they be watching this video? Well, you have a good point. Thanks for watching. And that, my friend, is what's the difference between an otaku and a weeb? 
basically otaku. Let's run it back, right? What is an otaku? A person categorized in Japan where they're consumed by popular media to the point of detrimenting their social skills, right? They're just absolute losers that are stuck at home just doing nothing but playing video games and consuming anime and media like that. And they do nothing with their lives and it's just... You're just a scum of society. Whether or not that's a scum of society, it's up to your interpretation, but they're clearly just not a productive member. A weeaboo is a being that enjoys all about Japan, right? Not just anime and manga, but about their culture, their history, their lore, their cooking, their everything. And you think that's superior to your own culture. That is a weeaboo. And then a weeb is only anime, manga, that shit. You enjoy that part about Japan, right? Every weeboo is a weeb, but not every weeb is a weeboo. I hope you understand the relationship here. There's a lot of different terminologies like neat, hikikikomori, right? There's a bunch of other stuff too. Maybe we can, you know, start to understand. But hey, please go give Mr. MV Perry this four year ago. Oh, sorry. This, oh, don't like it, like it, like it. Please go check out the video. Here's the link. And I'll see you guys on the next one.